I want you to be infinitely curious. I want you to not be caught in a trap of what it is to be that person's chiropractor. You're geniuses. You have the ability to think and to decide. Just in the same way you decided not to be something else to sit in these seats, you have a choice to not be the chiropractor you don't want to be. You have the choice to be incredibly expressive. You have the choice to be so damn big in your lives and your community because you made the choice to be a chiropractor. And that is yours to squander or yours to accelerate. Whether, it's in the, whether you're in the early quarters or you're the late quarters, you're just about to step into the real world, the harsh reality is you're gonna have to make some choices. And if I can give you just that one bit of advice, do what Didi did in 1906 and express your talents through the tone of the nervous system because that's what's gonna bring you together between vertebral and subluxation. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get the idea that the force has to create motion. The purpose of the activity within neurology is to amplify the ability of communication, which is a force. And when that force becomes more static and becomes downgraded to here, structure or matter never loses its intelligence, it just can't perform. And so we see that the vertebral side of the subluxation begins to manifest itself. We start to see that structure warps. We see that joints start moving inappropriately. We see that gravitational loads become excessive. We see that the genius of the intelligence all the way through that has never left the body says, I can't keep up with it the way I was, so I'm going to distort myself to dissipate the forces. You see, in the good old days, which weren't that good at all, there was this premise that bone out, pinches a nerve, causes a problem called back pain. And we'd have a withering spinal nerve on a chart, and it would be like, yeah, I'm gonna take that bone and hijack it and move it backwards. BJ in 1933 in his Lyceum lecture said, I never, I'm paraphrasing for this, I never said anything about aligning spines. If you're aligning spines, you use an x-ray. I'm talking about intelligence flowing through the genius of the, bar, of the person in front of me. That's what he defined in 1933 as the outcomes, not a misalignment in the spine. He knew very well that spines misalign for a purpose. There is a purpose, unless you get hit by a freaking bus, that a spine is out of line. A spine is out of line because the genius of the body says, I can't cope with the gravitational loads because my nervous system isn't firing at its right rate, so I'm gonna manifest distortion to save the person and, 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 and give up the spine. Because I'm smarter than anything. I'm innately, universally connected. You see, that's the way you think as a chiropractor.